Today, UFC fighters will be facing off against their younger selves and see if being older and experienced is better than being younger and fiercer. Some of the older fighters are current and former champions, and some of the younger ones are people on the rise, and also some of them are prime. Poor 42-year-old GSP has to fight his 26-year-old prime. But before we get there, we have Leon Edwards' original versus his 2015 alter ego, before Headshot Dead was even a thing. Alter ego Leon is 23, so he's only getting into fighting, and 32-year-old current Leon is the champion, so he's definitely a big favorite to win this. The original goes for a hockey lands. Oh, Jesus, Leon Edwards original. Headshot dead, he ducks it. Catches him in a clinch. He's a bit glitchy. UFC 5 for you. Buy the game now. Alter Ego's gone. Goes for a body kick. He stuns him with a jab to the body, though. The original, nice strike. Oh my god, no, they might be putting each other out. Alter Ego hits him with a huge overhand. Headshot dead, how's he not knocked out? Headshot touching gloves. Oh, he's not touching gloves at himself. Oh my god. <laughs> Is he, are you going to take that original Leon Edwards? Your younger self doesn't touch a glove and then front kicks it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Headshot dead. Oh my god, he just headshot dead himself. His younger self just headshot dead him. So this just shows that the age might matter because they have more awareness and agility. He, he felt a lot faster than him. He was getting to the strikes more. So it's 1-0 to the alter ego so far. But coming up, we have GSP. We have Shevchenko. We have the McGregors. We have Volkanovski, Adesanya, and John Jones. John Jones is the finale to decide whether these originals or alter egos are better. But next is one of the other goats in his prime, GSP, versus his original that, to be fair, has dominated in UFC 4 tournaments. So I'm excited to see who's going to win this fight. This is going to be close. Right, here we go. GSP versus GSP. I think GSP is going to win. Now, both these guys are going to be really good at wrestling because they're both GSP. Oh, he's in a full mount. Oh, 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 the elbow. So clean from GSP. Still holding him in mount. This is just complete bullying. Pushing him again, straight into an elbow. Original GSP, his eye is busted. He's got a really bad cheek, so this could be dangerous for him. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Huge head kick straight away. Oh, nice. He dodges the Superman punch. He's seen it coming. It's literally a signature move. Nice body shot into the hook. Oh my god. Original JSP still is five star. He still is a really good fighter. Nice spin and elbow. Okay. Okay. Oh, and a wheel kick to the other side. And a head kick to drop him. Oh. oh. That animation was good. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> the disrespect. The way he's left him knocked out is crazy. On the side of the cut as well, GSP had no chance you're getting knocked out. Anyone's getting knocked out from that. Even you could be knocked out by it. I'm not joking. GSP is coming to your house right now if you don't subscribe. You can literally support the channel, hit 20,000 subscribers, and not have to worry about GSP coming to your house. If I were you, I would do it. Just hit the button. Now back to the video. He's here. Look right behind you, dog. Hey! That's two back-to-back -back alter egos, though, so far. This has been crazy. Valentina Shevchenko is up next with the original being way more experienced and well-rounded, but this alter ego is Muay Thai Shevchenko, which is really good in UFC 5. So she does have a chance here, but it's going to be really tough, let's be honest. Oh, spinning kick to the body. The signature move for Valentina Shevchenko. As long as she's not doing it against Alexa Grasso, she's okay. Right, touch gloves. The respect is there again. Oh, fucking straight into a hook. <laughs> Clinch. Knee to the head, knee to the body. Denies both. Blocks both, I mean. Oh, oh, oh shit. This is the Muay Thai fighter coming out. Prime Muay Thai Shevchenko is just bullying her here. Big talks again. Okay. Going for the takedown. She needs this takedown. She doesn't get it. The Muay Thai fighter is fucking hell. This Muay Thai fighter has just such good head movement. She got took down. Okay. She's going to try to posture up. Eight seconds left of the round. She's raining nine strikes. Big strikes landing. Big strikes landing for the original Shevchenko. To end round two. Right, I'm giving that round to Muay Thai Shevchenko though. It's one all. One all. Okay. Start of the third round. Let's see what happens here. Dances on herself. Look at her face. Her nose is rose. Instantly hits her with the head kick. Real life UFC is being dominated by head kicks. And so is UFC 5. This is just. Oh my god. That is our first original that's won though. Our alter ego's lost. Next up, I'm not even gonna introduce him. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the man himself introduce him. The reigning, defending, 155-pound champion of the UFC, the notorious Connor. The current Connor's 35 years old. He has a lot of experience. He's been double champ by now. He's also really rich, so that kind of helps. Whereas the alter ego Connor is him just building his way up through the MMA ladder. He's 24 years old here, so this is an even fight. It's like before and after Connor's prime. Right, here we go. An absolute huge fight. I wonder how many pay per views this event would get. Oh my god, jumping switch kick. Oh, wheel kick from the original McGregor. 
Switch on the Switch kick again. He, that's money for this McGregor. All that I'll take over stuff. from here, Nate. Closing this. This rolling thunder. He lands it. Slaps him on the top of the head. Slap him then. Do something about it. Oh, Alter Ego McGregor. Shots to the body. Catches him again. Oh, he's dropped him. He's dropped him. That's one of the round. He's going for the finish, though. Come and finish. Oh. Oh, shit. Straight away with the sidekick to the face. Cuts him up. Body shot now. He sidekicks him back. Spinning elbow. Jumping switch kick. What is happening? Nice hooks. Oh, he's rocked him again. No, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. Alter Ego's done. Alter Ego's done. He looks stunned, but you never know. You never, you never doubt Conor McGregor. Oh, my, exactly. You don't get. You don't doubt him. Hits him with the spinning back fist. Oh, oh my God, that is vicious. That is actually brutal. That is brutal. Holy shit. Oh my God, he drops him with the left hand and catches him on the way down with the right hook on the temple. That is nuts. What a shot. Damon, 60 Gs, baby. Kern Volk is 35 and he's the greatest featherweight of all time. I'm saying it right here. He's the greatest. This guy is just too good. Except recently, we don't talk about it. And the rugby Volkanovski is 23 years old, so massive age gap. This this rugby Volkanovski probably doesn't even know how to fight, so if he can pull this off, that is amazing. What do you do far away? I watch Harry Potter. Oh my god, he's rocked him. Huge overhand, he misses it though. Volkanovski goes to the combos. Rugby Volkiners. Take down attempt, can he get it? He doesn't get it. You're not taking a rugby Volkanovski, there's no way. Oh, oh my god, straight away in a round two. Take down, and he gets a brawler. It's just like a truck hitting you. There's no way to stop a rugby Volkanovski. Oh my god, he's straightening the mound. This is domination. Is he back up? He is, he is. He's back up. Oh no, he's taking the back. He's taking the back. He's got backside. He's posturing up. Landing. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad for rugby Volkanovski. Oh no, never mind. It's brawler Volkanovski. What am I thinking of? All right, Volk flipped him. Original Volk flipped him in the last few seconds, but he's not going to get anything done here. But he's definitely lost that round. Oh wait, no, he rocked him at the start of the round. That could be original Volkanovski's. That could be his round. All right, the touching gloves. The respect is there. Oh, big shot to cut him. Left overhand. The, the signature Volkanovski move. Rugby Volk's going with the combos, though. Why are you taking him down? Oh, what, what did you expect? What did you expect? This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I remember I was sitting I was like, going. <laughs> right, probably 2-1. Going into round four. Rugby Volk got stunned there. That's not good for him. Original Volk starting to... Never mind, never mind. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Original Volk's cut up. He's cut him up. This is this could be bad. This could be really bad. Rugby Volk's gonna end the fight. He's gonna end the fight. Oh, he's one punch off. It was, oh, fuck, I'm about to lose a belt deep. Look at his eye. I think it's too old. This is such a close fight. The fifth and final round of this fight. Come on, lads. Can we see a knockout? Could we see a doctor stoppage? Or is it gonna go to decision? Or will they both lose? All right, we're straight back on the ground again. He's gonna try to take the back. He is not getting it. Original Volkanovski, he's still fighting. And he, oh, Jesus, he reversed him back. Go, go, go. You need to win this round. Oh, okay, they're back up to the feet. Original Volkanovski's brought back up. He's got caught really bad though. Rugby Volk's taking it in the last few seconds. They're swinging. They're swinging in the hand of five. The fifth round, holy shit. What, what a fight. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Alexander! Which one? The great Which one? Oh shit, original Volkanovski got the win! There's the judges' scorecards if you want to pause the video and watch it, but we don't have time for that. Izzy's waiting backstage with his alter ego, and they are ready to go at it, so let's just move on. Current Izzy is 34, and he just lost his belt, so he's kind of coming off a loss, so I'm interested to see how he gets on. The alter ego's 27, not even in the UFC at this point. So very unexperienced compared to the really experienced Izzy. The current Izzy should win this though. He's so much better. He's got a lot more experience. He should really win this fight. Right, here we go. This is going to just be another amazing fight. I can see a big knockout in this fight though. Israel Adesanya versus Israel Adesanya. Ooh, head movement. Head movement. Oh, head movement. Head movement. Already more action than the Romero fight. Oh, he's caught him. Oh, shit. Alter ego Izzy's caught. And someone else I'm noticing about Alter Ego, is he? Oh, never mind! Big shot, question mark kick, he's going for the finish, he's actually trying to finish this. Alter Izzy's tucked around, but what I was going to say is his cardio isn't looking good at all. Oh, he went for the fly and he got caught! Oh no, Alter Ego's in trouble. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I thought original Izzy caught him! Oh no, he's making him look like against Alex Pereira, no! Oh yeah, he's definitely closing this. Oh, he, oh, 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 okay. Oh! Blocks the body shot, hits him with a counter hook. 
Oh, oh, it's original Lizzie's turn. It's his turn. I don't know what it is about these UC5 simulations, but they're actually so entertaining. Look at this. What a shot to the body. He's rocks him. Oh, my God. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, my God. He Alistair overeamed him. Hits him straight in the jaw. No chance anyone's, no one's surviving that uppercut. What a shot from Izzy. That's another alter ego win. We have three original wins now and three alter ego wins now. So the decider, if alter egos are better than the original, is down to the finale with John Jones. Here we go, finale time. John Jones versus John Jones. Oh, head kick straight away for original John Jones. Oh my god, original John Jones with a massive head kick. Huge shot. By the way, if you're wondering, the John Jones original is the light heavyweight John Jones version, not the champion heavyweight version. We've got a submission attempt straight away, though. Oh, no! John Jones has lost so much submission off. This young Jones is too eager. He's too he's too strong for him. He's too relentless. He's got too much energy for him. If we could end this with a, with a submission in the final fight, we haven't had a submission yet. It's been all knockouts except the Volkanovski decision. Oh, head kick. Take down. Uh-oh. He's a minute and 15 if he can get a sub. Oh, oh! he's holding him in mind. He's holding him in mind. Alter ego, John Jones. He's screaming for me to get submitted. It, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's going to be over. Armbar. Singing it in. Eight seconds. Oh, he's eight seconds. Is he going to get it? He taps. He taps. Oh, my God. He taps the one second left of the first round. Probably zero seconds. And there we have it. The more fierce younger fighters are better than the older and experienced fighters. Thanks for watching. And if you want to help the channel, just subscribe. We're aiming for 20k.